Hello, I'm uh, Chris Wilman from the Northern California sales rep for Capita Snowboards, the union binding company in Coal Headwear. Today we're at Sugar Bowl Ski Resort in Lake Tahoe, California, and I'm here today with the Porter's Tahoe.com crew, and I'm going to talk to you about the 2011 Capita Snowboard Collection. The first board in the line is our 10 year anniversary snowboard. Um, it's called the Black Snowboard of Death, 10 year anniversary. What we did here, uh, we brought back the year one Merchant of Death skull that was on the first um, Black Snowboard of Death. It's a centered die cut base with uh, infused wax. So it's a uh, rotisserie wax infused base, meaning that as you wax the base, it's gonna suck it up, keep it up inside, and then it will just slowly leak out wax. So you're not gonna need to wax it as much and it's also going to retain the wax a little bit longer. We did everything with this board is completely brand new for next year from uh, inside and out. The most notable thing is you're going to notice the profile has some reverse camber applications to it. Uh, a couple years ago we came out with our version of reverse camber and it's called flat kick technology and we have a couple different versions of it for this year. So starting with the black snowboard of death this is called the free ride flat kick. And what we have here is in between the feet, you're gonna have a positive camber. And then coming from the back foot and the front foot forward to your contact points will be the flat kick. What that will allow you to do is when you go off trail, you'll be able to snowboard through some powder or some slush or some chopped up, chopped up snow. And it will uh, handle a little bit uh, better with those elevated contact points. On the inside of this board, it's an all new core. So it's another thing that we've done completely new. It's uh, Polonia and beech wood. And those are very dense woods. Again, this is an aggressive rider, so you want something very strong. To help compensate for lack of effective edge with elevated contact points, we added a third contact point here in the waist, which we call death grip. So you have one, two, three contact points mixed in with your free ride flat kick technology incorporated with your positive camber. Um, and also to help um, retain that stiffness, that classic black snowboard of death feel in the nose and the tail, we added basalt stringers that will come out from your front foot to your contact point in a V fashion. And we'll do that in the nose and in the tail. It's still a directional board in the sense that we've set the stance back for you. And we added two different radiuses within the uh, side cut. So it is 100% true directional free ride snowboard. It hauls ass from the top of the bottom and uh, it's for uh, somebody that just wants to go fast. It's an experienced advanced rider and it pays tribute to the 10 years that this snowboard has been in the line. Capitalist 10 years old uh, this year and this is going to be been in the line since day one. So it's a 10 year anniversary black snowboard of death. Andy Spots here with uh, PortersTahoe.com up at Sugar Bowl testing out some Capita boards. This is the Black Death for next year and it changed quite a bit. Um, it has the rocker tip and tail past the bindings but still camber between your feet and they added a little contact point in here. I like the board after I got used to it. At first I thought the contact point was just a little bit grabby, but then I got used to it and then it really held and gripped and ripped some turns. I think this board would be good for your more intermediate advanced rider, just kind of looking for an all mountain kind of powder jump kind of board. I think it's really good for that. And yeah, I really liked it. It had a fun, playful feel just with that lifted up nose. You can still butter around and not get tossed around too much like you would on a real stiff free ride board. And I think it's a good stick. The Capita Horoscope. This snowboard came out two years ago. It debuted as a late release board. It was our very first flat kick board in the Capita line. Uh, changes from the very first year to this year is we used to use the freestyle flat kick design. And what we did is we shortened it up this year and we call it the jib flat kick. So it's flat between the feet versus on the outside like you saw in the indoor survival. So flat between the feet, flat kicking forward in the nose and the tail. This is also a twin tip board. 
It's uh, very soft. We have a new uh, core construction, which allows the board to be softer but stronger. It's called the WDT, which is the wood derived technology. We do a die cut base on this and a sublimated graphic underneath. So it's a fully extruded base, it's low maintenance, don't need to wax it a ton, um, easy to repair if you got core shots or if you messed it up riding rails or boxes or rocks or trees or whatnot. Uh, radial side cut, centered stance, it's just for your, for your park rider, your jibber. Hey everybody, it's Parker here and I'm with PortersTahoe.com talking about the 2011 11 Capital Line. First board that I took out today is the Capita Horoscope. It is a very jib, skate style friendly board. It is true twin and I love this board for riding basically any kind of jib feature. It's super soft, it's flat from the middle insert to the middle insert and raises up past there. And I love riding this board for doing presses, for just getting on boxes and rails, real skate influence. So definitely gonna feel the softness in this board but if you're looking to get into the streets looking to ride a lot of parks smaller features or if you're just a beginner this is a great board that flat kit keeps you from catching your edge as easily as a cambered board so like I said if you want to get jibby try the Capita horoscope okay next up in the line we have TJ Schneider's midlife and the midlife has been in the line for quite a while it's got a very very unique shape it's a mid-wide board. It's positive camber. The 51 mid-wide, or the 51 comes in a 25 waist width. The 55 is a 25 and a half. And the 58 is a 25.9. So it is a true mid-wide. But something unique about this snowboard, it's got a nice deep side cut. So people with a smaller foot can ride this board. So true twin tip, uh, it's similar to the Stairmaster Extreme. But what we've done is we've added carbon in between the feet. So it's nice and strong between the feet it still has a biax uh, excuse me biax triax blend centered die cut base with the sublimated graphics underneath graphics done by tj schneider so this is the next uh twin tip in the line andy spots here with uh porterstahoe.com up here at sugar bowl testing some capita boards um this is the tj schneider midlife it's his pro model i i feel this board can really do just about anything it's got a twin shape and centered stance it uh it's pretty stiff and stout between your between your feet and then it i think it loosens up a little bit more in the nose area so you can still butter but it really carves and holds an edge really well on like hard packed and variable kind of snow and just about anything um it's good for jumping just about anything i think the hill could throw your way you could ride this thing in powder or just about anywhere i definitely say it's more geared towards the more advanced rider just because it's a little bit stiffer than some of the other boards so a uh, beginner might kind of get tossed around a little bit on it but if you already know how to ride you'll probably love it this is the stairmaster this is a brand within the brand of capita it's a go-to board with a lot of guys uh, porter's team rider brandon cocard has been seen riding this for the last few years. Die cut uh, extruded base here. We uh, took the NASA font. Corey Smith did the graphics. Twin tip snowboard, positive camber, centered stance. It's gonna have the WDT with derived technology core again. It's our softest flexing uh, twin tip hard core. So if you don't want anything like a reverse camber board, you want the old time tested camber, but you want it in a soft, available in some wide sizes as well so we've got a size for everybody that's the capital hey everybody my name is brandon cocard 22 years old um, porters and capita team rider I'm here to talk to you about the uh, 2011 capita stairmaster basically uh, i ride a lot of powder but when i'm not riding powder and i'm in the slush on a sunny park day this is my board of choice so this board's one of Capita's normal camber boards. So basically, instead of being a U, it's like an N. If you put it on a flat surface, the middle sticks up a little bit, and you step on it, and there's a little bit of give, and that's a good sign of the normal camber. Um, I find that being 
on normal camber really helps for jumps. Uh, you got a little bit more spring in your tail. It's got awesome pop. It's really steady. I mean, you could bomb into a jump and not feel all chattery. You got a little bit more, uh, you feel a little more stable when you're landing. And uh, in the powder, it's amazing. So any kind of jumps, powder jumps, backside, frontside hips, any airtime you want to get, this is the board I recommend. I'm Brandon Cocard, reporting live, PortersTahoe.com. I'll see you on the slopes.